What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Berg's Dip Reviews channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Good Bite Chewing Tobacco. Before we go any further, let's look at the presentation. Um, Good Bite on the front, black uh, background. 100% um, of domestic tobacco sale only allowed in the United States. Domestic Tobacco Company, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Net weight one and three quarter ounces. Uh, there's a little code on the side, but it doesn't mean a date. TP0004183. Big warning label, both sides. Back of the bag is just clear. Um, the bag, just a Ziploc. No seal when you open it. You just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the smell on it just smells like a real bitter chew and it is dry leaves very different than every other chew which is just like uh even if it's bitter it's in some kind of like corn syrup kind of thing you know to sweeten it this is just dried leaves uh real crispy these are actually i've had this laying around a little while um, i've never had this one i had the the uh amish plain and the amish honey that this company makes and this is the last one in the series so Let's get ourselves a pinch, or a cheek rather. Uh, it's kind of, see how it's cut, it's just all random. Uh, and it's literally leaves, like look at that. Just tobacco leaf. So obviously I lost a little bit there. But being that it's not moist, it doesn't like stick together too well. Take a little bit more. And for one and three quarter ounces, you get a you get a nice amount. I mean, it's not it's one and three quarters because instead of three because it's not moist. I mean the moisture weighs down chew. Still pretty dry, so we'll let that juice up. Um, the uh, the price on it is three fifty uh, at the store I bought it at. I've seen it uh, up to like four fifty. It's somewhere in that range. It's a little bit below the uh, premium chews like Redman, but not too far off. Availability. Uh, it's in Pennsylvania, but I've never seen it anywhere else. I think it's only in the state, and a lot of tobacco shops actually carry one of the three of these. Uh, not a lot of them carry all of them, but it, it's in the tobacco shops. It's not really anywhere else, though. So... Once it gets going, it does juice up just as well as anything, really. Uh, it doesn't, and the, the real good thing I like about this is that it doesn't float around at all. Some chews, I mean, most chews are pretty good about this, but some of them, you know, chew pieces will start falling off and things like that. This just stays in a wad, um, and even if you chew it roughly, it just stays So, the taste on this, it, it's probably the most bitter chew I've ever had. I think it's more bitter than Amish Plain. Um, there's a, absolutely no sweetness. Uh, and I usually like sweet chews, but this is a nice mix-up. It, it, uh, it really is probably... Nothing like it out there besides the Amish Plain and Amish Honey. Um, but even so, it's very good. I, I really can't compare it to anything that's mainstream. Dark spit, lots of it. Um, but it's not syrupy. It's just kind of clean spit. Different than most chews. 
nicotine i mean i'm not really feeling anything because well number one i've been dipping all day number two being chew it probably doesn't have a lot anyway but there's probably enough in there to get you by last ability i don't know because i just so the first one i've had from it but being that there's no real like flavor other than just natural tobacco probably could last you a, a decent bit of time because it's not like the flavor is really going to fade or anything like that i'm sure the aftertaste is going to be real bitter um it'll be all right though i think um you know even for the guys that that uh prefer the sweet chews i think you might actually like this because of how different it is it's not like red man silver blend even though that's probably the only thing that comes to mind when it comes to unsweetened chews but it's not really like that at all very unique um, but then again probably can't get it down south or anywhere other than pennsylvania so i don't have too much else to say about it it's pretty good though uh shout outs Sam D video full review the georgia dippers the georgia vloggers bandit dippers united sardimer chase williams the dip doctor tn dipper 81 kaylee dips city dippers number of subscribers 60 rating out of 10 on this stuff um i'll give it a six and a half i mean it's good it's different but then again it couldn't be anything i would do every day um would i buy it again probably not because this will this will be you know seven eight chews probably because you don't need a whole lot because of how the flavor is so i probably won't buy it again but i would definitely recommend giving it a try if you ever see it um so anyway if you like this video like it comment subscribe i'll see you next time take care